Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and I've actually been looking forward to this for a very very long time ever since I had uh, got my channel started I've been wanting to do this video for you all and as I have mentioned in a few of my videos before these are actually all the Diamond Art Club paintings that my fiance got me for last Christmas. I have had them underneath the bed this whole time. So if you all see little fuzzies around on these boxes, I'm sorry. Because they've been sitting underneath my bed for the longest time. I didn't really have any storage to put them other than that, so that's where they've been. But I tried to clean them off as much as I could with the wash rag from earlier, so they should be good to go. But yes, this is all of the Diamond Art Club paintings that I have. So I hope you all enjoy this huge haul. And I also have some, like, few uh, diamond paintings for Amazon. But I'm going to go ahead and go over these first. And then I will show you the Amazon diamond paintings when I get done with these. And I guess we will start from the smallest to the biggest, which most of them are pretty big. So, try not to expect me to get these done anytime soon, <laughs> but I'm going to start off with this one. This is one of the smaller ones. This is the, uh, and of course, if y'all don't know, the diamond paintings come in round and square diamonds, so there's going to be a variety of square and round diamonds included in both of these. So here's the first one right here, as you can tell. And it's a picture of a lion. And don't expect me to try and um, pronounce the uh, artist's names because I'm not good at pronouncing these names. <laughs> but hopefully you all can see the picture. It's just a picture of a lion and it's really cute. But that is what this one looks like right here. And... Here is the next one, which, um, this is one of the diamond paintings that he accidentally bought twice, so I ended up giving one of these away to a co-worker of mine. So, this is this one, it's called Pumpkin Patch Bunnies, and it's so cute and adorable. Hopefully you all can tell the picture, but you can see there's three little bunnies, and they're sitting on top of a pumpkin. Or in there, they're in a pumpkin patch. It looks like, but that's what that's going to look like. And I'm so glad a lot of these actually had the AB diamonds in them. And for those of you who don't know what AB diamonds are, those are the diamonds that um, sparkle and shine. They bring out the diamond painting a lot better. It makes the whole picture shine, and it it looks better. It looks like it's better quality with sparkle and all that. So that's what AB Diamonds are. It's basically just extra sparkle to the picture. And then this is the other one. This is a square diamond one. And it says a little witchy. And it's so cute. It's this little girl and she's a witch. That's what that looks like. And oh my goodness, I love this one right here because I love, um, I can't think of what the name of it, I, Alice in Wonderland, I believe that's what it's called, but I could be wrong. I think it's Alice in Wonderland. Y'all, my mind just went blank there for a minute. My mind does that a lot. But anyway, you all will probably notice that in more of my videos. <laughs> but this is a square diamond right here, and as you can tell, this is the Shashara Cat, I think I'm pronouncing it right. But look at the picture. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. It's got all different hints of purple and blue to it. And it's so pretty. It's called Blue Eyed Kishir, Kish Kishir Cat. I cannot pronounce that right. I'm so sorry you all. But that's what this picture looks like. And I bet it's going to look so good when it's done. And this is another one. This is also a square diamond too. But this... I basically is like a woman sitting on top of, I think, a dream catcher. It says, Ariel, Ariel, Angel. I, 
I, th I don't know how to pronounce that so <laughs> but that's the picture of this one and this is also square diamond if I didn't mention that but yeah actually it looks like a yeah yeah it is an angel duh all right and this one is a round diamond leopard watercolor is the name for it, and it's just a leopard it's pretty And this one is really beautiful. This one is a square diamond. And this one is called Anastasia. And it's so beautiful. It's also got a lot of uh, different hues of purple in it as well. But it's just a picture of a woman. And it's really pretty. Alright, and this one, oh my goodness. I really, really love this one too. This is also a square diamond. And it's called... Um, N N Nero Tiger Lumin Luminous Ages. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. But this is so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I hope y'all can tell. But this is so beautiful. Some kind of, it looks like some kind of mythical creature. But oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Oh! Oh my gosh. Alright, and I actually have... Oh, I actually have a mystery kit right here. And it says it's going to be an animal. So, later on, later, later on, we'll find out what this one is. And this is also a square diamond, I forgot to mention. But yeah, this is just going to be a mystery kit. So, I'm wondering what that's going to be. Ugh, it's going to be a big one. And this one is a round diamond, and it's very beautiful. It's a picture of a woman. She's got flowers. And this is going to turn out really beautiful when it's done. It's called Moon Elf. So, obviously she's an elf. <laughs> and this is actually, uh, this is another square diamond. And this is called Cat and Fairy. And oh my goodness, this is so beautiful too. Oh my gosh. It's got a picture of a cat. And y'all know I love cats because my last diamond painting that I just got done with, actually, the one that I made the tutorial on, or used used in my tutorial, it's got a picture of a cat too. And I got it done with. So if y'all want to see what it looks like, just let me know and I'll post a video of that. But this is that and it's got a picture of it. It looks like a fairy and a cat. It is so beautiful. And it's a square diamond. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. So, this is all of my Diamond Art Club painting, diamond paintings. So if you all are interested, um, here these are. I will try and do my best to get it, all the descriptions down below for you all so you all can find them a lot easier but it might take me a little bit of time so uh, hopefully you all can find them okay-ish but I'm going to try and get the links for you all as soon as I can because I know it would be a lot easier if you all had them and give me just one moment y'all and I will get the rest of them for you the rest of the diamond paint All right, we're gonna start with this one right here. Hold on, just one moment. These now these came from Amazon, and this is actually another set that my fiance bought me because you know he loves me so much, and he got me all these diamond paintings because he knew how much I, you know, started loving them when I started uh, doing them. But this is. This right here. I don't know if you all can tell, but it's a picture of a pumpkin and little bitty birds just sitting. Looks like a pumpkin patch. But, and hopefully you all can see it. But it's so pretty. And of course those are the diamonds that came with it. Which it just came inside of like, like some kind of plastic, so I just took out the whole thing and... It's been sitting in our door ever since. 
so go ahead and put those back in there. Then we're going to move on to the next one. And as I had mentioned in my last video, I believe, this is another diamond painting. Um, a horror movie one, actually. And I love horror movies. Like, I, I'm, I love horror movies. They're my favorite type of movies to watch, and I've always been into them. So, I don't know if y'all can tell, because it's a little bit light. But... I'm trying to scoot this back a little bit, see if y'all can see it clearly. But it's been sitting in the drawer also, so it might be a little bit hard to see. But it's basically uh, different versions of Jason Voorhees of all the movies and whatnot. So I thought that was really cool. My fiance loves horror movies also, and he knew... He knows how much I love horror movies, so he decided to get me this one for a diamond painting and thought it'd be a good idea. And it is. It's a great idea. And, of course, these are the beasts that came with it. They're still in the plastic. So, yeah. That is that one. And my very last one. And, of course, save the best for last because I'm not going to go too much into detail with this one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you all because... I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> so, but this is the very last diamond painting. I'm gonna show you all. That was okay, y'all. I am really sorry about that. I think um, I don't know what happened really, but my phone just stopped recording out of nowhere. Even though I still have memory left. But anyway, um, as I was saying, this is a picture of my dad and me, and uh, I lost him last July. So, it's been really hard for me to get through this, even though it was last year, but uh, me and my dad were really close, and he meant the world to me, and I apparently meant a lot to him as well. And I'm just, y'all, if you still have your parents, please, please do not take them for granted. Um, do everything you can to love them unconditionally. It's the best advice I can give you. And never let them go. Never. Always keep them close by you and keep them close by your heart as much as you can. Because you never know when their last day is going to be. But this is film right here. I don't know if y'all can tell. Like I said, this is a very, very big diamond painting, but, um, this is my dad right here. Like I said, I, I do apologize if y'all can't see this, because this is a very big one right here, but this is the last diamond painting for my haul video today. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one up. But yeah, this has got a lot of colors. Well, not a lot of colors, but it's got a lot, a lot of that at least. So it's going to take me a lot of time to get this one done. But eventually I will, will get it done. So. But that is all I wanted to show you all for today in this video. And I really hope you all enjoyed it. And like I said, I will do my best to leave all the, the links down below so you all can find them easily. Just in case, also, if y'all are interested in getting any of these or any of the uh, Amazon diamond paintings. And um, if y'all have any video ideas or any uh, video requests, please drop them down below. I would love to hear them. I would love to read them. And... Any recommendations that you all have, I will consider them and I will do my best to uh, get those going and I'm going to do my best to keep posting videos for you all. And like I said, I'm, I've only been doing diamond painting for about a year and a half, but like I said in my last video, I'm still learning as I go. I'm not an expert by any means and 
the more I learn, the more I want to show you all. So the more tips and tricks I can learn, I want to be able to show you all and that way you all will know. And it'll be easier for you all to get diamond paintings done. And it's a fun hobby. Just for those that aren't sure about diamond painting, yes, it does take a lot of patience because there are some that are very big and they take a bit to get done. But if you do have patience for stuff like that, then it'll be perfect for you. Especially if you're an artistic person and you love arts and crafts and you, you know, like putting pictures together and all that. And it'd be perfect for you to do. So, just give it a shot. And I'm sure you won't regret this hobby. It can be very, very, very relaxing and very fun. And when you get done with them, trust me, it's, it's unbelievable on what the picture looks like and the sparkle to it. And they just come out really great. You just got to pay attention to the sizing on the canvases that you get and where you get them from and all that. So, But that's really all I wanted to say today and to show you all in this video. And I really hope you all enjoy it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that would really help me out big time. And I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to press that bell notification. That way you don't miss any videos from me at all. And I'm going to go ahead and go. And you all have a great day and be safe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.